How's it going people? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Box to Box. You're probably wondering what the hell is this guy doing in the United View studio? Listen, we couldn't make it to Old Trafford, so we made it to the Op Block. We made it to the Ops studio. I'm with Flex. Yeah, you know all about Flex. <laughs> yeah, we can review, we can round up all of that. United View, all of that. In and out of Carrington, all of that. So, he, you know, he can spill some tea for us maybe today. Because a lot of us are wondering, Flex, what's going on at United? But before you get into what's going on at United, big up. Yeah, yeah man. Firstly. Thanks for inviting me on, man. Come on, thanks for you know, <laughs> accepting the, yeah. the request. I would say to, you're, you're very welcome to be in here, but it's, I don't know. You've got the logo up here. Feels yeah, good. It feels weird, man. This needs to, we need to hurry up and finish this. <laughs> I said DR oh, did. I said DR made the Infiltration, well. they come to the up block, rolled up a table, Matisse put up all kind of ch I've been violated today, bro. Broski, 15, <laughs> 20 years ago, if I said the ups would be running through United, running through the studios. To be fair, it's funny that that's happened to me personally, because then it's, it's just a damning indictment, a true reflection of Man United. Yeah, yeah, Everyone yeah, can just Makes run sense. true. It makes sense, bro. It, this, like, it makes sense. That's why we're here, people. Hit the like button. Yeah, show obviously United View some love. Um, big up Flex, KG, Marcel, Owen, all of the team over there. Josh behind the scenes as well. Um, but Flex, let's just get it straight into it because yeah, this ain't going to be too much of a long one. Um, I'll be at the game on Sunday. You'll be at the game Sunday. I'm sure we'll catch up before and after. But United, bro, I mean, form, sloppy, performances. I want to say all over the gaff, but... It's everywhere in the gaff, but top, good, you know, acceptable. Um, scraping against Sheffield United, drawing Burnley, losing that, losing that, that European spot now to, to, to a Chelsea team that throughout this season was looked at as by far the worst of the big six. Um, conversations months ago about whose position would you rather be in as a neutral most favoured Chelsea, I mean, most favoured United. Tells you how quick it can change, isn't it? It, it does. Because they were looked at as that. But now it's, it's, it's tight if it's, not, <laughs> if it's not Chelsea. It's three games left, man. It can still change, man. Knowing them, is it you know change? what I'm saying? No, it's, it's not. not. It's not. No, we, listen, we are a complete and utter mess. There are no words to defend it. There are no words to kind of put your head under a rock and try and act like what you're seeing, you're not really seeing. Mm. Um, everyone's at different points as to how bad they see it or like the, the action that should be taken, i.e. the manager and stuff. But as a United fan, like enough's enough. Like it, 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 you should not be this bad. That Palace one was because I was going to get into that one mm. last because it's the most recent, but 4 0. Bro. Like, like some of the players on that pitch. There's ways to lose a football match in it. You know, you lot have been there through rebuilds and yeah. the pain and stuff like that. And that was one of the reasons why you were so angry and different periods because there's ways to lose football matches and when you just see a club that's just rotten has been neglected has been mismanaged has been sort of there's been an abuse of power there's players just swanning around the gaff like they've done anything mm. they've been rewarded for that failure yeah, yeah, yeah. and been made to put on a higher pedal stool then you've got people above that who clearly don't care which is looking like it's going to change now. Yeah, yeah. But it's an absolute total joke. And we are, and I have no um, sort of qualms admitting it, all banter aside, because we always, you know, especially me, you know, KG and stuff, we're there when Part other people game. lose. It's, this is game. what we do. We're on social media and we don't... But when it comes to talking real football, we are the biggest embarrassment out of the lot. It, fact. Mm. Like, Chelsea with the, you know, the blue billion pound bottle job, fit, all of that. Yeah, there's these little caveats. At least it's still Pochettino's first season. Like, and they've unearthed Cole Palmer, who's, you know, Looks there's like something yeah. there, you know, yeah. Kaisoda's growing or there's a bit yeah, of a role for yeah. Kukurea and they've had injury. There's just yeah, a little yeah. something. You go, you know what? With Man United, you go, what on earth is left? Like, and that's why, you know, my quote is just rip it up, rip it all up. Like, I know you can't do that in one season. I've been there getting carried away, bro. This time, last year, February, outside... Um, yeah. Wembley, yeah. the Carabao Cup. We'd just beaten uh, Barcelona away without Veghorst, home and away. Oh, yeah. Anthony scored the winner at home. We won the Carabao Cup. I'm going, this is the guy. Yeah. We're back. Or we're on our way. This is, this is all we needed. Finally, we've got the right guy. False dawn, and man. life will come and just slap you up really quick. And look, I don't regret saying that mm -hmm. because at the same time, 
you don't want to get into a thing of like you don't want to enjoy anything and that yeah, but yeah. what i have learned is that you have to really see like consistency over a good period to really get into your bag of have you got better or is mm. this a purple patch or are you just hanging on in there what are you seeing and yeah you, I'm really bad you reminded me of something there when you said you know it feels like we'll, it felt like we're back at that time yeah emery's first season i remember fulham away I was there and we were singing, the fans were singing, you know, we've got our Arsenal back. Bearing in mind the first season since Wenger, um, we had won or not lost a few, a couple, it was 22 games in the, in the season that season, but I forgot where in that run it was. And in the end, it culminated in just missing out on top four and losing the Europa League final. But just before that ending, it did feel like we are turning a corner. Do you know what I mean? We're back to challenging for top four at least. You know, we lost even that at the last couple of years of Wenger and Europa League final on the horizon as well. That's it. Do you, do, do you see any similarities in, in that? Because now people will say and have said, should, should, well, considering how well Arteta's done, but there was points this season when Emery was doing very well and even with Villarreal when they knocked us out of the Europa League where people were saying, oh, should you have let him go? Should mm. you have trusted him a bit more? In my opinion, silly because look at what Arteta's done. Uh, that's not, nothing against Emery. But do you think you could be in, in that similar position where are you fully done in terms of Ten Hag and, and your hope, belief, faith that he is someone that can turn it around? Because nowadays it's a lot of trust the processes, a lot of be patient because of the way we've come back into that, that conversation. Yeah, you kind of set a bit of a benchmark, ironically, yeah, but for it's, that. It's hard, to, it's hard to replicate picking someone out okay assistant manager of Pep but Real picked out the assistant manager of Man United and it didn't work out years 100%. back so there's examples even of that people might say oh it's Pep's assistant course no you could be a great assistant but in, you, you could be a great assistant that's your role exactly <laughs> Arte with Ten Hag do you think that he still can turn this around regardless because listen you got an FA Cup final probably haven't got big hopes but it's, it's, it, it, does it does it all rest on that does it all rest, does Ten Hag's future for you all rest on these final few games plus the final? See, I don't, see, we've been talking about this a lot. I don't think it should. I think, I, <clears throat> I think you have to be careful at going, I'm going to choose one game to say whether he's good or bad. Because yeah. that's the whole reason we're in this, not the whole reason, but that's, okay. that's a big factor of why you get things wrong in the first place. I thought because we won a Carabao Cup and we just beat Barcelona and we was in the Netherlands, Another FA Cup, mm. then that's the measuring yeah, stick. Yeah, yeah. The true representation of where you are is 38 games, always. We've just got Dortmund in the, in the, in the, in the Champions League final. They're fifth, bro. Stuttgart are above them. Mm -hmm. RB Leipzig are above them. So yeah. they're not tearing up trees in the Bundesliga. They're not. Are you going to say that Dortmund are better? Would you say Dortmund are better than Arsenal? Nah, nah, you wouldn't, nah, would you? Nah, nah, nah. But you can, depending on how the draw is, how you do, yeah, it yeah. happens. Yeah, yeah, we've seen that. Yeah. That's why cup football. Cups count for stuff, mm -hmm. but they can't really be the true measurement of where you are. 38 yeah, yeah. games is. I don't care what anyone says. 38 games is. And for 38 games, which it will be, yeah. um, we're conceding record amounts of shots. Mad. We're losing games. Game, yeah, 17 shots on average. We're losing games in, in manners that are unthinkable, even for the players that are available. Mitigating circumstances with injuries, I get that. Um, Stylistically, mm -hmm. it's very alarming what's going on. A lot of schoolboy errors, managerially, that I think, where I look at, I haven't got a UA for A license, but from Sunday League yeah. or decent semi pro level that I've been around, I know that if you're under the cosh or yeah, game yeah. after game you're too open, my manager's going to say, I tell you what, guys, I tell you what. You wingers and that, get back in here. In, we'll yeah. sit Bruno or whoever's the top of the pitch for Hoyland, don't go shut them centre backs. Get, get back in here. My two, uh, my two pivots, just, just sit and screen. Up, yeah. you know, and I'm seeing, but also I'm seeing the very best teams. I'm looking at Arsenal out of possession. There's so much talked about counter press mm -hmm. and all on the front foot. Sometimes I see Arsenal just every man's back behind the ball yeah, just yeah. very quickly. Mix it up, yeah. So you can't break us down. Yeah, yeah. I see Man City, the best team in the world. They do it. They're honest. They get back in. It's not just as soon as they, lo they lose it, it's a counter press to win it back. Mm -hmm. But th there's the respect for the other team or respect for themselves to say, yeah. this is how you defend properly. Doesn't matter how good you are offensively. And I'm not seeing that. And our manager even said in an interview with Gary Neville, when Gary Neville said, 
you had all these like injuries and that. Did you ever think about going more defensive? He said, I did think about it, but, but I chose not to. Mm -hmm. So then you live and die by them decisions. Yeah, so true. to answer your question, where I'm at right now, I, I, I don't think you can turn it around. I think it's just got too bad. And I just think if you're Ineos coming in and you're changing all this stuff, it rightly might, so, yeah. like you're just going to go, why would I keep, why would I keep yeah, all yeah. of this? And that's not to let the players off, by the way, because they need to go as well. But that takes longer to do. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, what about his character? Like, I, I'm a, I don't know much about Ten Hag. Mm. I know what I know through maybe post-match interviews, reading comments and whatnot. You know more about his character, his personality. When it was yeah. Mikel Arteta, from day one, Mikel came in and said the right things. He grabs That was you, one bro. thing about him. He 100%. came in and said the right things. He said, forget football right now. We've got to reconnect the fans to the club again. That was the first... He, along the whole three, four, five years, he's, he's here saying the right things along the way, putting even pressure on himself, saying second is not good enough, we've got to get over the line. The, the, these, are, these are things that I guess the club saw in him because for, for the club to give him that contract extension off the back of, you know, f not throwing away top four, well, essentially throwing away top four a couple of seasons yeah. ago, it even shocked Arteta. <coughs> but it's vindicated now. Is there any, does Ten Hag have any likability? Does he have the character? Does he have something there that, because you're right, this whole new ownership structure and the, the, new, the new people coming in, in in various positions, it'd probably be good to start afresh with a new manager. Mm. But There's quite a few lack of suitors as well. It's like the, the uh, obvious that candidates. That was my next question. Like, yeah. who, who would it be? If it, it would probably be another test. Which, which, which that's why I'm like, if you're saying to me, like, well, if you get rid of um, Eric Ten Hag, you're going to get Gareth Southgate. Absolutely not. Yeah. If you get rid of Ten Hag, you're going to get Graham Potter. No for me. Yeah. I'd rather stick with it. Do you know what I mean? You can't just change for... There has to be the right person. Mm -hmm. There has to be two sides of that. If you, there has to be someone who you want to get rid of, but there needs to be the right person to bring in. If you don't have both of them, it's difficult. In terms of his character, I've bigged up his character at some points because... At the beginning, the media did that whole thing straight away because they were just onto him. Yeah, oh, yeah. look at his shirt, it's too big. Or test, he just does the waters. Do you know what I'm saying? Um, but you're, you're the kingpin at Man United. They're going to come for you. Mm -hmm. That's what happens for the biggest club in the country. You, you are Man United. Mm -hmm. Scrutiny's high. Um, but I think when it started to go wrong, I don't think, and I've argued with KG and like other people on the channel about this. Be interesting if they're watching now. I, 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 I think he's done himself a disservice by some of the things he's been saying. Recently, isn't it? Re 100%. Yeah. Bro, I think you can defend the team and not... Because people say, oh, he's not going to out the players. Yeah. He's not telling them. What he's saying there, he's not saying back yeah, yeah. there. Cool. But perception is a lot, especially if you want fans to, to buy into what mm -hmm. you're doing as a manager. It's a big part of it. People say the fans don't matter. It's what you do on the pitch and that and ever. But the perception of what you're doing, even to the people who make the decisions for you, when you're coming out and saying, like, we play exciting, we're exciting, dynamic... dynamic uh, you know, we played good today or whatever, or you're doing like a shit sandwich. So you might say the right things. It's not, we shouldn't give up that lead. We didn't concentrate. Yeah, yeah. But we play good football. Our 2-2 our two -two against Bournemouth when we should have lost because there should have been another penalty near the end. Yeah, but, you know, City came, uh, Brentford, I think it was. Look at the state of that mm -hmm. Brentford game. Brentford should have been about 6-0 up. We nearly yeah. jammed our yeah, way yeah, to a win, yeah. then we conceded straight away. Well, when City came here, they drew. Yeah, he, he like, holds on to stuff. Do you see it? what I'm saying? Obviously, the Arsenal offside Arsenal, thing, it always yeah, goes yeah, back yeah. to that. I think that comes across as you, you, you borderline delusion. But people, United fans will push back and say, no, he's just saying you're not bullying me. Like even the way when we lost, when we drew against Coventry mm -hmm. and we went to pe uh, penalties, when he said like, like the reporters asking him if it was embarrassing the way we went through. And he goes, no, what you lot wrote was embarrassing. I said, that sounds like something Ty would say, bro. Yeah, if we... Like, you're, you're embarrassing. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? We're in the final. <laughs> well, we're in the final. Like, bro. <laughs> <didn't tie> <laughs> oh, Do you know what I mean, yeah. bro? And I'm like, bro, you can defend us by not throwing us under the bus by saying, listen, if he would have just said, it shouldn't have been that dramatic because we was cruising at 3-0, you know, you shouldn't take yeah, her off yeah. the ball. But at the end of the day, it's another final. But to just go at the press and say, the press are not embarrassing for saying, that was a bit embarrassing that you were 3-0 up against 8th in the championship with 15 minutes to go and you went all the way to penalties mm. and you nearly lost by a toenail. It's a bit embarrassing, isn't it, mate? Because that's how I felt as yeah, a fan. Yeah, I was embarrassed. Yeah. That's straight to the point. Do you know what I mean? So, to answer your question, there are question marks about does he have that charisma and personality to take us over the line? I would love to see it. I'd love to see him turn it around. But the signs are looking bad, man. There's too many things going wrong that aren't just injuries. He's made a lot of signings. His signings are playing half the games. 
and we're not seeing anything. Ah, enough on United. Now let's talk about Arsenal a little bit. Um, another title challenge. Yeah. This one probably more expected in comparison to yeah. last season, but I guess with that expectation come more pressure. So for you, do you think Arsenal have turned the corner in the mentality, psychological aspect of things? Without no, I think it's something you can tell without knowing if we get over the line because we are that close to the end of the season. One hundred percent. There's too there's too much of the season that's gone by now so, yeah. to say in two games they haven't. Mm -hmm. they, they, you know, last year. I, it wasn't overachievement because nobody expected you to challenge. But once you had challenged for so long and were top for so long, the word bottle that gets thrown around with yeah, yeah, that yeah. was, you know, arses falling out, mm -hmm. bottling, whatever you want to call it. It was that yeah, because, yeah, you know, the 2-2 two -two at Liverpool when you're 2-0 up, the West Ham, Southampton, Southampton Man City. Like, Good that man. was, yeah. yeah. This one, essentially what's probably going to happen is, if you beat Man United, is that you would have only lost the out on the league because you that 45 minutes against Aston Villa in the second half because even in the first half you, yeah, yeah, you should have yeah. scored um, this is a different Arsenal I think the fact that uh, you look at the different types of pressures they've had to come up against the different question marks they've had to come up against answering all the questions the away form you know when the, when the going gets tough are the big players going to come up and show the same level of consistency mm -hmm. that, as at home yes um, playing against the big boys, City and Liverpool. You couldn't get past City for so, so long. Close, knocking on the yeah, door, yeah, yeah. but just couldn't do it in the league now. Beat them at home. But we're going to the Etihad. We usually get dealt with there. What are we going to do? Stood up, was counting, got a nil-nil. The Liverpool game in the league. Beat them, didn't you? Yeah, we had to. At home. Five points behind at that time. Five points behind. Do or die. You, you can't be eight points off these. Mm -hmm. Can't give that sort of... Yeah, lost yeah. them in the FA Cup, but even that game... Even the manner you lost that time, yeah. should have been up. So context is everything. It's a different Arsenal team. And the decisions that, Ars that, Ar that Mikel Arteta has made in terms of eyebrow-raising ones, yeah, yeah. That, that Ramsdale situation yeah, is a big yeah, shout. A big Don't get me wrong, Reyes still got his flaws. Mm -hmm. Don't look 100% confident all the time. Not better. But it's worked. Vindicated, yeah. I get onto the Havertz thing all yeah, the time. Yeah, yeah. I might go a bit far just because I'm trying to be tongue and shit. Yeah, I'm saying, but it was eyebrow raising for sure. Eyebrow raising, and I now say he's one of the signings of the season. Mm -hmm. Like he is, and, and and I know like you say about the numbers of how much he gets paid, but this yeah, that. Yeah. But that guy is doing something that every most Arsenal fans looked and thought, what are we doing? Arteta said, no, I know what I'm doing. I know what he can bring, and he's going to do the things that we might not see, but he's going to make this team click. And then the Declan Rice one. I mean, to, to pay 105 million for a man and the genuine consensus amongst everyone in all fan bases yeah, yeah. that they probably got him too Underpaid, cheap yeah. is crazy. Yeah. He's an animal, bro. I've not, he doesn't put, he's just ridiculous. Yeah. And then crazy. people who have been there a while are kicking on. Mm -hmm. What Gabriel's doing is a joke. Yeah. Trossard, yeah, 25 bad. million. Fell out of love with Deserby and then Man of Brighton. Comes in. I don't, you can't really see Jesus now on the left. You can't really see Martin. Mm -hmm. It's Trossard, bro. He's the man. Like, no, um, no. Saka, as consistent as mm -hmm. ever. Mature, doing bits. Like, uh, there's, what's that? Partey's now fit. So you add him in. Yeah, yeah. Jorginho Timbers. Jorginho's got to give him a new deal vibe. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Older ben guards, White. Even though, yeah. Odegaard. Like, this is... And now you've got Declan Rice. Again, he's a captain without... He doesn't need the armband. Yeah, yeah. It's just, he's just got everything right. And then you talk about the belief with the fans and what you really build. You have to admire what he's done. The only big question mark now is obviously he needs to get over the line. Mm -hmm. But when you go this deep, toe-to-toe -to -toe with City, Liverpool did it for ages yeah. where they don't win. Yeah. So you can't say anything bad about Arsenal if they don't win the league this year. 100%. I will if we if we yeah, beat I'm not it. I, I expect, it. I expect <laughs> but when it's because this this is but this is real football talk. Yeah, yeah. You have to say it. As Put it, it aside. Is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, no, I expect is. that. I know it's coming. I know it's coming, but same way I think everyone else knows that Arsenal will be winning a major soon enough. Knocking on the door, Whether long enough, you're going to do it. Whether it's two weeks, 12 months, it's, it, it, it's happening. We, we are too good a club at the moment to, to not be pulling in top honours soon. I agree. Soon. Um, not that we're not the only top club, that's the, yeah. that's the only issue. Um, key man for you in terms of Arsenal first. Who do you need to keep quiet? Num just one, because I know you've got just reeled off a whole heap of names. It's too many, man, bro. Improved or... Nah, bro, Skepta settings, bro. It's Recently. Many, bro. Nah, real talk, bro. Real talk. Where it's been. I hear you. I hear because you. Because it's not even... Because what you can do with this, yeah, looking at the Arsenal threats, which pisses me off, yeah. You can do the front line thing and just be like... Easy ones, yeah. It's not really that, bro, because it's... 
Ben White flying down a thing where he does that little lofted cross yeah. all the time creates massive Solid. problems, bro. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I'm saying? Declan Rice just sweeping up and turning Monster, defense yeah. into attack and bro. Older, do you know what it is, bro? Odegaard. Odegaard at the edge of man's box, just, it's just ridiculous. The ball's stuck to his yeah, foot, yeah. bro. It's a joke. He just wants that the vision. Gap. Some of the passes he does, yeah. It's, it's, it's ridiculous. Saka, bro, he just don't stop. Mm. Like, he's just relentless. You know he's going to... Listen, I'm not saying he's Iron Robin, yeah? But what I'm saying is, is that inevitability of, like, you know there's a high chance he's going to cut in. On his left foot, yeah. But he's just sharp with it, can find the far corner. And a couple of times he's proved he can go right as well. Yeah, Firing yeah, across yeah. or lick it roof of the net with the right foot. He's at it. Trossard, this brother. Bro, if you give him a sniff, Technical clinical, line, nice yeah. feet, nice way to pass, good pass appreciation. Havertz, handful. I know people no, cuss him. Be, has been. Handful, good link-up play. Um, you, you wouldn't bet your house on it that it will score if he's mm. clean through, I say that. Yeah, you know he'll be a handful. Yeah. The two centre-backs. I'm just really thinking, bro, just poor Hoyland, man. He's going to get nyam up yeah, by them yeah, too, bro. It's going to be meat and drink, man. Um, be I can't, bro, just... I, it's hard, isn't it? I'm going to say... I'm going to say Odegaard. Okay. Just because he's just the one who makes it makes sense. all knit yeah, together. Yeah. We can't him. replace him in the side. You can't. He's just too good. But you got threats all over the yeah, pitch. Yeah. From back to front, though, corners. When I'm seeing Saliba and Gabriel yeah, yeah. come up for that, On we're it. fucked. <laughs> do, yeah, you know, yeah. do you know what I mean? No, so it, it, it is what it is. That's just is, the truth. Is, is, we're proper on set pieces now. Yeah. Proper. Every time. Ben it's White, dude. I know Nana's a madman, bro. It's easy to distract him, bro. He's not concentrating. Ben White's going to be on bro. him, 100%. Man, none done man's gloves yeah, the other day, ben bro. Ben White's going to be on him. Are you taking a piss? You try and bro, do that ben to White's, Nana, bro. He's going to do hey, a madness, bro. Ben White's bro. old school. I like Ben White, man. He's got that dark heart to him. What about United, though? The key man for you. If you, if you <laughs> come 6.30pm Sunday, you've managed to take three points, one point from it. Surprising. Either way, you're happy. Um... Who would be the one player you think would have would have pulled out well, the man of the match? Well, at the time of recording, I don't know who's going to be back. True. So I've seen that Martinez and Rashford are back in training, training today. But you don't know that. Martinez has been out for time, mm -hmm. so I doubt that. Yeah, Rashford's start. been out for a while, but if he's been training, they might look to get him in. Bruno's the one. Bruno's missed his first game from in sense, injury yeah. in his whole career against Palace. Yeah. But hasn't been training this week. But if anyone can not really train or only have one day and come around, back, it's yeah. him. Kobe Mainu can produce a moment of brilliance. We've seen that against He's Liverpool. He's going to have a tough time. In, but in he... Nice party, older guy. That's what I'm saying. Ooh. He can't He can't do it, bro. He can't test. do that. It's an unfair request yeah, for yeah, the yeah. kid, man. The kid's been hung out to dry with bare gaps in midfield. He's got Ericsson next to him who can't move. Crazy. Even McTominay or Casemiro. Jesus Christ, look at Casemiro. Finish. So the kid, he can't mm. do nothing in that midfield. Hoyland can't do nothing against them two, yeah. man. So it's either going to be a Rashford or a Bruno. Or a Ganacho, actually. Oh, yeah, he can yeah, give yeah, you a moment, he can run at Manny, he can, you know what I mean? We saw that in the first game. Yeah, yeah. Um, when he was closely offside, good finish. Um, mm -hmm. It was. An individual, one, just probably Bruno if he's back. If he's not back. Yeah, yeah. I, I, if he's I not back, I've got Bruno nothing. Bruno default, we'll call it. Yeah. Um, all right, cool. Old Trafford, prediction time. You're the home team, you kick it off. I know you've, you've altered predictions yeah. depending on what shows you're on. So. I, no, actually, I haven't. I've gone with the draw all the way through. Oh, is it? I have done that, but I've ah. given the real context of what I've... Okay, okay, just, okay. I have to back my team. It's Old Trafford. Even though we've been awful, mm. Man United have this weird way at Old Trafford against the big teams, which we've seen against Liverpool. They should have pumped us. They didn't. Um, that, that could mean it's coming. Absolutely. <laughs> that couldn't mean it's But I just, I just can't bring myself to just be out here just saying we're going to lose 3-4-1. I hear you. I hear you. So I'm going to go over You job. haven't reached that stage of grief yet. Exactly. We spoke yeah, about yeah. this. I'm not, there's a few stages to the yeah, grief yeah, team. Yeah. Um, the acceptance. The acceptance. Exactly. The denial. The acceptance. <laughs> yeah. I've been there, bro. I'm on, my, I'm on my journey, man. Just leave me, man. I'm saying 1-1, one, one, but I think you know me. You lot know me. Yeah, yeah. It could be very peak. Listen, I said 5-1, I'm sticking to 5-1. It could be 4, it could be 3, you it could be 6. You won't score 5 goals. Ah, listen, I'm, just, score five goals. I'm remaining hopeful. <laughs> I'm rem you probably win, but you won't, you won't score 5 goals. Don't get it twisted, people, before everyone, because this tends to be the thing. You're, you're going to jinx them. Don't disrespect them. Yeah. It could be, look at our... Re I get all of that. Still old traffic, bro. And if we drop points, we drop points, and I'll, 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 have to, I'll have to hold it. I will but be unbearable. But the reality is, 
if we look at everything we know going into this game, Flex, is 5-1, being a United fan, is 5-1 that wild of a prediction? It's not, but I will say to you, every time this season where I thought we'd get serious licks, yeah, we ended up not actually That's doing it. it has to, this might be the one that, this could be fake. Turkish, let me tell you this, yeah, and all you lot of Arsenal fans at home, yeah, if you don't beat this Man United team, shame on you. Shame on you. I agree. In it, I agree. really. I, I agree. The, yeah, I, the, the shame would most definitely be on us if, if we don't get the job done. But we will. <laughs> we will. And we will be there. Uh, yeah, you're here Monday for a weekend roundup. I'll be here Monday just to check in. And I've got big six that night. So either one of us will be holding some sort of smoke on Monday flex. I would say good luck, but I wouldn't mean it. Um, so I'll, I'll refrain. Um, people, big show up. United View some love. Show Flex some love. Obviously doing big things over there on that channel. Um, big up KG as well. PayPal on the way, KG. Yeah? Time is ticking, bro, my brother. He owes some serious Time money, bro. Is, <laughs> no, he owes some serious few bills, money, bro. bro. Few yeah. bills. And there's other ones that he hasn't disclosed. And you know what? Well. I'm going to tell you now. I'm going to let you look in on a little secret, yeah? In America... <laughs> He's gonna get gassed again. He's no, gonna I don't the, think he will. The LA Sun, it's gonna, it's gonna hit him. So I far, think he's learnt, He's gonna trust me. No. The United fans there, they're gonna be all round him. They're gonna be buzzing. No, I can't. I'm I can't gonna, let my I'm guy go. I'm gonna offer like him another bet in front of some fans. Oh, yeah. And he's yeah, because he buckles. He buckles. He, buckles, he, he buckles. doesn't want to look like he's, especially to an Arsenal. Nah, fan. I can't let my guy go. I'm gonna talk. I'm gonna sort him out. You can talk to him, but I'm gonna pep talk him. I can't do that. He will be there, LA. I can't leave you. You're, you're extorting him now, bro. It's getting this bullying now. At least I'm being When the fun being stops, stop, from, bro. When the fun <laughs> stops, stop. It's not fun no more, bro. You need to talk to Frank. You need to talk to Frank. And I was there in Times Square going, yeah, like, yeah, but I without remember. putting my money down. But I'm like, yeah, yeah. you man, what? You see now, I've just kind of been a bit... That, it's his own mouth that gets him in this trouble, is, bro. Why doesn't that bit you? Because you you told a line... Yeah, I'll go to a certain point, then I'll retreat. He gets to the line and then just full throttle, all steam ahead. But yeah, uh, KG, <sighs> I'll be sending you my PayPal, brother. Show United View some love. Hit the like button on this video. Make sure you subscribe here. Leave us your thoughts in the comment section below. Prediction. Line up. Is there really a question mark about the lineup? And am I being too hopeful? With He's jinxing it. Prediction? Yeah, that's going to be the claim. I'm jinxing it. But we will be here, people. Love for the love. Make sure you subscribe. Put the notification bell on. We're out. Peace.